watching the Scooter Camper channel on YouTube. Hello guys, I'm back from holiday. <laughs> ah, I need a holiday now. <laughs> Not long got back. Um, hello guys, how are we doing? All right. <laughs> got to forget. No, I've got to remember. I've got to remember my manners. Yes, I haven't been in Sammy all week. We had to um, we had to hire a car, unfortunately, um, because um, Sammy was a little bit sick. <laughs> Or what the um the prop shaft bearing has started to go on the centre mounting on the prop shaft. I did change it. Um I bought a nice cheap Chinese one which um I found out unfortunately the bearing wasn't very well sealed. And what had happened was over the last year or so, um when I've been driving it in the rain, the water's been getting into the bearing and washing all the grease out, so um it sounds very noisy now because it's gone rusty. <laughs> it, um, it does work. There's no free play or anything in the prop shaft. It, um, it's just really noisy because it's basically running dry. Um, I think the damage is done now, so I'm going to have to order another one. Um, I could smack a little bit of grease into it just a short distance, but um, I haven't. Somebody's clacking. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so um, I haven't been able to use Sammy for long distances. Um, we went to Wales this week and um, over near Tembe and stayed in a caravan over there. So um, there will be a video to come on that one, but I haven't edited it as yet. So um, I'm hoping to try and get a couple of nights. Um, not consecutive nights um, unfortunately they're going to be the odd night somewhere so hopefully there'll be some more stealthy night videos as well <laughs> hopefully but we'll see so um don't hold your breath any more than i will because i know how it works now if i'm lucky enough to go on i'd go if i can't i can't so it works like that now there's no point making any plans for anything because it never works mm. I missed it in here. <laughs> I have. I've missed it in here. I like this fan, but then you know that already, don't you? Ah, <sighs> yeah, it was a nice car actually. It's um a Fiat 500 Lounge, I think they call it. Um, that was the model. Um, yeah, it was a nice. It was a nice little car. Um, couldn't say much for the electronics on it. Um, it had lots of gadgetry on it, like um, tyre pressure sensors and and um, the engine stops. When I was chatting about it before, when I, you know, when you pull up to a junction and then the engine switches itself off, and then when you go to pull away, it switch, it starts and off you go again. Um, hill start assist with the brakes and all that sort. Of, none of it worked very well, <laughs> to be honest. It was a bit crap. It's it's all gadgetry just to sell the car, but um, I wasn't very impressed to be honest. I first I tried it first of all, and I thought, oh, this is good, and then I thought, no, nah, this is stupid. This is just, it's basically just for people that can't drive, isn't it? Really, <laughs> you know. Um, I actually found it more of a hindrance than a help. Um, I managed to do hill starts okay because I'm used to driving heavy vans and stuff, so um, obviously you don't roll back because you roll back a or a truck even um you know like small trucks from years back um so i suppose i'm lucky in that respect but um yes the uh some of the things didn't work very well um when we were driving it we were driving around i thought the steering feels a bit sloppy i thought brand new car and it's new anyway i checked and the tires were almost flat on the front and we'd hired it like that they let it go out like that I thought, well, that's not very good. So I pumped the air in the tyres 
and um, pumped them back up to what it was supposed to be and yeah lovely it was all right all week fine and then um just as we were getting towards the end of the week and we were coming home it um it said beep check tire pressures <laughs> beep check tire pressures it said i thought you're a bit late so it didn't it didn't detect it when they were under pressure um they didn't detect it when i repressurized them back to the normal pressure and um for some reason they i checked them again on the way back when they said check tire pressures and there was nothing wrong with them so, so that didn't work um the, the engine stopping and restarting at junctions that didn't work either um not consistently it sort of did it when it felt like it like you knew you thought right i'll try it now pull up to a junction put your foot on the clutch take it out of gear and then when you stop put the handbrake on take your foot off the clutch and it didn't work <laughs> but some days it did some days it worked some days it didn't i thought this is stupid i didn't get it at all so i thought whatever um i did actually stall it a couple of times because um I think well actually I think the car stalled it a couple of times I went to try and restart it of course I've lifted my foot on the clutch and then it tried to start itself so um that happened a couple of times I got I got really confused with that but never mind well um we got there in the end we got it back in one piece which was good um I don't recognize reckon I don't recommend enterprise car hire they're a bit of um yes <laughs> um we got stung a little bit when we looked on the internet we thought that's a good deal so we put down our money put our deposit down to hire the car got to the place and they said um did you realize that there's a one and a half thousand pound excess on the car we write well, I mean, this we had to pay our 137, which was to hire the car, which we thought that was it. And then um, they said there's a one and a half thousand pounds excess. And we thought, so how would we get, end up with this? And the, and the lady said, any damage whatsoever. So that's a stone chip, um, a stone chip in the windscreen. Um, a bump anything any damage at all even a puncture if you get a puncture you can't you'd have to repair it yourself it, it, it wouldn't do you know what I mean it wouldn't because it only comes with four wheels and you get this you get this stupid air kit thing that you um you don't have a spare wheel basically there's no spare wheel on a jack you just get this air kit so um you're stuffed basically um, it said if you want to waiver the 1500 you could pay a bit more or pay a bit more or pay a bit more depending on what waverage you want um, I think we paid in the end we paid 137 which it said on the internet to hire it which is what we thought we thought yeah great okay and then we paid for this uh, 1500 pounds waiver which was 148 I think which covered us for tires and windscreen so we thought well hold on if we get a puncture do we get it fixed yes you get it fixed on the air and they replace it and that that, that would cover it for that and if you've got a stone chip in the windscreen um but it didn't cover paintwork so basically we just made sure we didn't have to didn't scratch it but um 1500 pounds i mean i've i've hired cars before where we've had to but where we've had to pay like 200 well would have had to pay 200 pounds excess but 1500 pounds for anything at all i mean the, the windscreen doesn't even cost that that's ridiculous i thought that was a bit of a i thought that was a bit painful really i thought that was a bit much that was too much so um so we paid 137 pounds we paid the 148 I think it was 148 pounds to waiver the one and a half thousand pounds excess um, on the windscreen and tires if it got hit or puncture or whatever and 
and we had to pay another £200 um, deposit. So that cleared us out, really. That Well, it did. That just cleared us out. That was it. I mean, had we have known these charges, which it didn't say anything about, um, well, obviously did in the small print somewhere, but we we didn't see it on the internet. We just thought under the thirty-seven pounds plus a deposit or something like that, and then, and away you go. But not all these extra extra things they started adding on, which we thought was a bit naughty, really. Um, I guess it's okay if you've got the money to pay it, but we were a bit that put us really short. That did, which was a damn nuisance. Um, obviously, if we'd have, if I'd have had the van done that quickly. Um, then we wouldn't have paid that because we'd have taken this, but it didn't work out like that, did it? We, by the time we were already there, um, we'd paid for the we'd already paid for the car online to hire it. We thought, well, what do we do now? Do we cancel the holiday, or do we um, or do we just go with it, or do we pay another hundred and fifty pounds and pay this this um, waiver thing? I thought it was a bit. I thought it was a bit, unsh well, I thought it was, I don't think it was very clear. So, um, be warned if you buy, if you hire from Enterprise, be warned it's excessive high excess if you bump the car. So, um, just to be warned if you're hiring anything from them. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Um, that's 11 minutes. I do go on, you see, don't I? I think it must be the caffeine. Anyway, um, hope you guys have had a good week. Um, look out for the vids on so many other channels um, I will get around to editing the footage soon so um, hopefully that might be up in another week or so whatever, see how I get on and um, yeah that's it, so have a night guys, have a great rest of the day have a good week and um, see you next vid